Lifetime is a fucking banger. Hi, it's your boy Delta. Ready, back with another video. Hive Time is a great. And I don't really have anything bad to say about it. The game crashed on me twice at first launch. Is that a flaw? Is that a flaw? Whenever I put the game in full screen by clicking on the square at the top right of the window, it would cause a crash, so I just changed it to full screen through the settings menu, and I didn't run into any other game breakers. Anyway, welcome to Hive Time. Hive Time is one of those management games, kind of like City Skyline, except instead of managing some boring ass town in Nowheresville, you manage a bee colony, and holy shit, this game is fun. In the main menu, you're hit with some banging music, and I knew from the jump this would be a jam. The art style is cute, minimalistic, very easy on the eyes, and the writing complements it in almost every way. The mechanics are simple and very easy to follow, and oh shit, I wasted an hour fucking around with Barry B. Benson and Queen Carmen. This game is mindless, and I love it for that. If I ever need to kill an hour because my bot lane is inting in League of Legends so I dodge and get fucking lever busted, ooh, who cares? I'm in B lane now. Way better than Summoner's Rift. Dude, I really don't have anything negative to say. If I had to think of something, I wish I could see how long certain actions take. I noticed while playing I was either always at max resources and population, or I was flat broke. I wish B lifespan was portrayed in a better way, cause you know, it's extremely hard to micromanage the lives of 75 Bs. Hive time is a good time, but I don't think I could recommend it to everyone because my tastes are weird. I can't really explain why I was pulled in and captivated by such simple, mindless gameplay, but then I was bored to death by Last of Us 2. I don't know, play Hive time. It's a big boy. Holy shit, two big boys in a row. God, what did I do to be graced by two good games back to back? Oh, <laughs> no.